in one of the postings online in the uh, forum for aquaponic beginners, one question was, in my flood and drain system, the flow is uh, low. Do I have to clean the filter? Well, here I have two types of flood and drain system. This one is in a decoupled system of aquaponic, meaning this is a hydroponic, 100%, and this is the aquaculture, 100%. And when I flush, I transfer the fish waste from here to here as food. I dump the fish waste at the bottom sump tank there, and that's why it's called decoupled aquaponic. Compared to this system, where it is a true aquaponic system with the fish, filtration, uh, beet filter, is connected to the same uh, flood and drain system. So, coupled aquaponic, decoupled aquaponic. In this one, there's absolutely no filter. All I have is a water pump. And of course, in the winter, I have a heater but I have a water pump. So there's nothing that can affect the flow except two things. One is the flow rate. I mean, the uh, how fast. One is the manual adjustment of the flow rate by, when adjusting the return valve there and the drain valve here. Okay, if it's too fast it's, or too slow, the flood and drain system is not gonna work. So you have to find the sweet spot where it's filling, it activates the siphon, and it drains. Too fast, the water flow that's too fast will overcome the siphon, and once it starts draining, it will never drain. It will never stop draining. If it's too slow, it will fill up, and then drain a little bit, drain a little bit, drain a little bit, but never activate completely, and drain the whole tank completely so that will be full all the time and a little bit comes in and a little bit comes out and you defeat the purpose of the flood and drain system. So uh, to back up, one reason is the flow rate which you can adjust by adjusting these two valves and I recommend you mark it with a sharpie so in case you have to it changes you know where that sweet spot is. Another potential reason is how clean this pipe is. Remember this tube has slits and if you plant uh, too close to this drain pipe uh, and roots enter in the slits and they clog it, uh, plug, because roots are going to follow the water and nutrients and they're going to enter there and I've seen it. And if you look at my other videos, you'll see where I cleaned it and there were roots inside. So if there are roots inside and they clog those slits and basically ruin the uh, flow getting into the tube to activate, that will be something similar to a low flow rate and that tank will be full, uh, the bed will be full and never drain completely. Okay, so those two things. Here in the aquaponic a regular aquaponic system where we have a uh, large uh, particulate filter and a bead filter. This is like a basket filter. Those two things that can uh, get clogged with debris and uh, you know, and you'd, or you don't flush often, uh, that can cause a problem. Okay? I hope this was beneficial. Enjoy.